It's a problem most people aren't even aware of and something that isn't widely discussed. Substance abuse among doctors and nurses. But three years ago, the state developed a program to deal with that issue. On special assignment tonight, Fox Connecticut's Narmeen Chaudhry explains how the program works. It's a subject not often spoken about, substance abuse among medical professionals. Statistically, when talking about the general population, about 10 to 15 percent suffer from some kind of drug addiction in their lifetime. It turns out those numbers also apply to those in the healthcare fields. I think we are getting people to talk about these issues. Prior to 2007, Connecticut had little to offer those in the healthcare industry when it came to rehabilitation. It was really a disincentive for professionals to get help. I think the fear and the stigma um, uh, often caused them to not admit their problem. Despite the stigma, the problem is very real. Published quarterly, the State Department of Public Health releases actions taken against physicians, nurses, psychologists, and others in the health-related fields. For many, substance abuse is listed for reasoning behind disciplinary action. So working together, health organizations created HAVEN, a program designed not necessarily as a disciplinary one, but rather one for long-term discretionary treatment. I think for us to say that this is not a problem would be um, a disservice to the public because it's a problem for teachers, it's a problem for airline pilots, it's a problem for truck drivers, um, it's, it's, a, it's a human condition. In operation for the past three years, Dinan says she believes the program is already a success. Currently, out of more than 16,000 physicians in the state, 68 are utilizing Haven. Out of nearly 70,000 registered nurses, 88. The list goes on and on. After professionals are referred to this program, they do face up to five years of monitoring, which can consist of random drug screening and support groups. Dinan says she hopes the Haven program can someday become a pilot for the general population. On special assignment, Narmeen Chaudhry, Fox, Connecticut.